Good evening. Here are tonight's headlines. Deputy Commissioner Paul Williams retires after 37 years of dedicated service to the force. Amel Sigourney Griffith to represent Guyana in the Miss SXM Carnival Caribbean Queen pageant. In legal news, a magistrate denies bail to a robbery accused facing repeat charges. Meanwhile, police apprehend a suspect with an unlicensed firearm and ammunition at Leonora Stadium. Additionally, a wanted fugitive, O'Neill Melbourne, is apprehended in Kaikon. Tragically, a fatal robbery results in the deaths of two minors, with gold worth $37 million stolen. Stay tuned for further updates on these developments. Deputy Commissioner Paul Williams retires after 37 years of dedicated service. After 37 years of unwavering dedication and service to the Guyana Police Force GPF, Deputy Commissioner Paul Williams is set to embark on his pre-retirement leave. Throughout his illustrious career, Deputy Commissioner Williams has left an indelible mark on the force, serving in various capacities and earning recognition for his exceptional leadership and contributions to law enforcement. In 2018, Deputy Commissioner Williams was promoted to his current position by former President David Granger, a testament to his exemplary performance and commitment to upholding the principles of justice and security. Prior to this appointment, he held several key positions within the force, including Crime Chief and Acting Commissioner of Police, where he demonstrated remarkable leadership and dedication to duty. Deputy Commissioner Williams's professional development has been marked by a relentless pursuit of excellence. He has completed numerous courses and seminars at the Felix Austin Police College and other esteemed institutions, further enhancing his skills and knowledge in law enforcement and public management. His academic achievements include a law degree, a diploma in public management, a postgraduate diploma in legislative interpretation and drafting, and a master's degree in criminal justice. Additionally, he holds a doctorate in international relations, reflecting his commitment to continuous learning and professional growth. Throughout his career, Deputy Commissioner Williams has exemplified the highest standards of integrity, professionalism, and dedication to duty. His tireless efforts have contributed significantly to the safety and security of Guyana, earning him the respect and admiration of colleagues and the community alike. As Deputy Commissioner Williams transitions into retirement, let us extend our heartfelt gratitude for his invaluable service and wish him well in all his future endeavors. His legacy of excellence and commitment to justice will continue to inspire generations of law enforcement officers. Amel Sigourney Griffith to represent Guyana in Miss SXM Carnival Caribbean Queen pageant. Guyana's beauty queen, Amel Sigourney Griffith, has been crowned as the country's representative to the prestigious Miss SXM Carnival Caribbean Queen pageant. This accolade adds to her impressive list of achievements, as she continues to make waves in the pageant world. Amel Sigourney Griffith rose to prominence after winning the coveted Miss Jamzone title in 2022. Since then, she has maintained her reign as the Miss Cricket Carnival, a title she also secured in the same year. Her grace, charm, and commitment to her platform have earned her widespread recognition and admiration. In addition to her previous accolades, Amel Sigourney Griffith has been sashed alongside 11 other talented young women participating in the 2024 Miss Guyana team with a purpose pageant. This esteemed title grants her the opportunity to represent Guyana on a regional stage, showcasing her poise and elegance to an international audience. As she prepares to compete in the upcoming Miss SXM Carnival Caribbean Queen pageant, Amel Sigourney Griffith embodies the spirit of beauty, grace, and determination. Her journey exemplifies the pursuit of excellence and serves as an inspiration to aspiring beauty queens across the nation. We extend our heartfelt congratulations to Amel Sigourney Griffith and wish her the very best as she represents Guyana on the esteemed stage of the Miss SXM Carnival Caribbean Queen pageant. Magistrate denies bail to robbery accused facing repeat charges. Shaquine George, a 19-year-old man, faced denial of bail when he appeared before the Georgetown Magistrates Court for the second time within a month, charged with robbery. During the court proceedings on Friday, Senior Magistrate Laron Daly presided over George's case, where the new charge of robbery was read against him. 
The allegation stemmed from an incident on February 22, 2024, where George, along with another individual, reportedly robbed Chris Franklin of valuable items including a silver chain, a wallet, and cash. This marks the second robbery charge against George within a short period. Notably, he had been granted bail just a month earlier for a similar offense. However, considering the gravity of the situation and George's alleged repeat offense, the prosecution objected to granting bail. The court learned that George had been accused of a similar offense on January 23, 2024, for which he had been granted bail. Despite this, he allegedly committed another robbery while on bail, leading to the current charge. In light of these circumstances, Senior Magistrate Daly made the decision to deny bail to George based on the presented facts. The accused is set to return to court on April 5, 2024, to face further proceedings related to the charges against him. The denial of bail underscores the seriousness with which the court views repeat offenses and serves as a reminder of the consequences of engaging in criminal activities. Police apprehend suspect with unlicensed firearm and ammunition at Leonora Stadium. In a proactive security operation at the Leonora Stadium, West Coast Demerara, a team comprising a woman superintendent, a corporal, and other ranks from Regional Police Division No. 3 intercepted a suspicious individual last night around 2300 hours hours. The man, later identified as Tion Allen, known as a spoiled child of from Georgetown, aroused suspicion as he entered the stadium premises carrying a black Gucci side bag. Upon closer inspection and subsequent search, Allen was found to be in possession of an unlicensed 9mm pistol along with 18 live matching rounds of ammunition. Despite initial resistance, the police were able to conduct a thorough search, revealing the concealed firearm and ammunition. When questioned about possessing a license for the firearm, Allen refused to cooperate and exhibited disorderly behavior. Consequently, he was promptly arrested and escorted to the Leonora police station along with the seized firearm and ammunition. During the interrogation process at the police station, Allen admitted to lacking a license for the firearm in his possession. The suspect is currently in custody pending formal charges for the unlawful possession of a firearm and ammunition. The swift and decisive action taken by the police underscores their commitment to maintaining public safety and preventing illegal firearms from circulating in our communities. Police apprehend wanted fugitive O'Neill Melbourne in Kaikan. Corporal Benjamin of Kaikan Police Station in Region No. 7 successfully apprehended wanted fugitive O'Neill Melbourne, age 26, from Law Grange, West Bank Demerara. Melbourne was apprehended on a commitment warrant issued by the police for a two-year imprisonment sentence. Melbourne's legal troubles date back to when he was initially arrested by Sergeant Chapman on a Rao mountaintop. At the time of his arrest, Melbourne was found to be in possession of one 12-gauge single-barrel shotgun and three 12-gauge cartridges. Subsequently, he was charged and convicted in absentia, receiving a two-year imprisonment sentence for the firearm possession and an additional one-year sentence for the possession of ammunition. After eluding authorities for a considerable period, Melbourne was finally located and arrested by Corporal Benjamin, bringing an end to his evasion of justice. Melbourne is currently in police custody and will face the full extent of the law for his offenses. Fatal Robbery, Two Minors Killed, Gold Worth $37 Million Stolen Authorities are currently investigating a tragic incident involving the alleged double murder of Zahir Muhammad Sheriff, a 50-year-old gold miner from Baidarebo Road, Bartica, and Donovan Washington, a 31-year-old porter from Lot 11, 7th Avenue, Bartica. The incident occurred today, Sunday, March 3, 2024, around 10 o'clock HRS at Aramubak Dam, Kuyuni River, Region No. 7. According to reports, the suspects, two masked individuals riding a red ATV, fatally shot the victims and made off with 102 ounces of raw gold valued at $37 million, along with two licensed firearms, a .32 pistol and a 12-gauge shotgun, belonging to Zahir Mohammed Sheriff. Initial investigations suggest that Zahir Mohammed Sheriff, the owner of a 6-inch land dredge operation at Aramu Back Dam, had washed down the mentioned amount of raw gold before departing from his camp with Donovan Washington on an ATV headed towards Bartica. 
Joel Stephen, age 39 and general manager for Sheriff's Operation, reported hearing several gunshots approximately five minutes after their departure. Upon investigating, he found both deceased men lying on the trail with gunshot wounds about their bodies. Additionally, the firearms and gold were missing from the scene. Upon examination, Zahir Muhammad Sheriff's body displayed several gunshot wounds, including circular wounds to various parts of his body. Donovan Washington's body also showed multiple gunshot wounds across his body. The scene was processed, and authorities recovered evidence including a .32 magazine with live rounds, as well as spent shells from different firearms. Investigations into this tragic incident are ongoing as authorities work to apprehend the perpetrators and bring them to justice. Anyone with information related to this incident is urged to contact the Bardica Police Station. Our heartfelt condolences go out to the families and loved ones of Zahir Muhammad Sheriff and Donovan Washington during this difficult time. May they find strength and comfort in the support of their community. Updates will be provided as the investigation progresses.